Hey guys, this is Eric Broadus again, back with another video, and um, this video I want to title, Life is Funny Sometimes, and what prompted me to make this video is, um, is um, the Toronto um, Raptors versus the Golden State Warriors, and I, in my, I said it, and that I thought the Raptors um, had a good shot at winning, and that Golden State, to me, looked to be in trouble. Now, we obviously know that um, the reasoning behind that was the injuries to um, Kevin Durant and then also um, Clay Thompson. Now, I know that Andre Iguodala got injured, I believe, in the, um, in the first game of the series. And then you had DeMarcus Cousin, who had not played all season, um, coming back to try to help the Warriors um, revive him and help, help him win. Um, you know, shout out to the Warriors. You know, they showed true championship heart. But I uh, have to give credit where credit is due. Um, I take my hat off to um, the Toronto Raptors. They came through. Great job, Kawhi Leonard and um, the whole crew. But um, life is funny. And I I've said this before because oftentimes in my videos, I like to use um, the sports analogy as a, as a representation of life. Because in life, things come about um, unexpected. You never know what is going to happen from one day to the next and sometimes life can present um, different um, circumstances or adversity and we all are going to face it and in that particular series most people before that series began most actually had the Warriors heavily favored you know some thought and even myself at the beginning I thought I said, maybe Toronto you know I said maybe they might make it to game five you know possibly six but what happened, when I watched that first game, I really hadn't paid Toronto too much mind, and I realized then, I said, wait a minute, you know, Toronto is a much better team than I gave them credit for. And I felt that they would be a struggle and that they were a matchup problem for the Golden State Warriors. Um, one reason why I felt that way is because they call Kawhi Leonard the Terminator. He's like a machine. and. He just keeps going, you know. He does not allow himself to become rattled when the pressure comes. He continually, he's consistent um, in his performance, and he's able to mentally elevate and raise his game when he needs it. And then add to that, um, his teammates, they um, shadow his behavior. They are not easily rattled under pressure. And not just Kawhi Leonard in that, in that NBA's final stepping up, but other players stepped up. I, I can think of, I believe it's Siakam Pascal. He stepped up big time. And definitely, I have to give a shout out and to, um, I believe it was um, Van Cleef. He, he balled out. You know, no doubt about it. And I, I must give Kyle Lowry respect. Um, prior to this, you know, I knew Kyle Lowry was good and, you know, and, a, and an all star, but um, he really showed me something. He's a lot better than what I gave him credit for. But um, Mark Marcus saw, you know, uh, a very intelligent big man, but um, that whole team, along with Kawhi Leonard, I mean, they they played they played ball. Now, Golden State did have some some injuries, which was very unfortunate. Um, I didn't think that Kevin Durant should have came back because I, I felt I said that's an Achilles injury. When I first saw him get get injured, I said, Nah, that's not that's not a calf muscle. When he jumped like that, I said that's an Achilles injury. And lo and behold, that's what it turned out turned out to be. Then the injury that the Clay Thompson and the man when he pulled when he um shooting the three pointer and messed up his hamstring, and then he came back and then he landed wrong off of a dunk, which would lead, I believe, I think he messed up his um ACL or something like that. But I used them as an example. You know, on one side you had some uh, un adversity and unfortunate um, circumstances. On the other, which. Um, equated to them to, to losing because of the injury. It's just um, too much of a burden for um, Steph Curry to carry. And, you know, Jam Draymond um, Green came through, but I, I really feel that Steph Curry is the heart and soul of that team. And it's just too much weight, you know, for one man to carry. But then you look at, 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 at the victors to whom all the spoil goes, goes to, the Toronto Raptors. And that's a, a good example of life. You know, in life, you know, there are so many things that are unexpected that, that can come up. One day, um, you can be up, you know, and the next day, something could come and hit you like a ton of bricks. You know, it could, um, could be your health. And definitely, without your health, 
you definitely can't can't do anything. You know, you you know may have a, a, a bunch of money, but try having a lot of money, but you don't have your health. You know, what can you do and how can you enjoy it? You may have the money to um, pay for the staff or the resources to take care of you, but if you have a a serious condition that that you're stuck with throughout your life, it can greatly hamper you or hinder you. Without your health, there, there's not really much that that you can do, and it does make a dramatic difference. Uh, another area can be the unexpected or twisted turn in relationships. You know, and relationships they are important to us as human beings because we are social creatures and we are geared for relationships and there are different types you know there can be um, friendships you know and I've said before that um, certain relationships are meant to be for a lifetime certain ones are seasonal which mean, means that um, certain relationships whether it's friend, um, lovers, family, some people are in your life just for a season and you're in theirs for a season and um, eventually you both move on you know and you take the good out of it you know what you get and you learn from the bad um, some relationships in terms of with, with marital relationships some cases um, depending on a couple the relationship lasts for a long term but eventually that ends when both or one, one or two depart till death do us part so you know that's that's one example but there's also divorce you know and sometimes two people when they fall in love nobody wants to go in thinking that the marriage is going to fail but both um, go in with hopes and sometimes for whatever reason things don't work out and they they just um, can't make it and there's different effects of that you know um, if you have have children you know that does uh, affect you know um, the children you know that you both had together so th there's different effects of that those are unexpected twists and turns you know you have relationships in business sometimes they have to end whether it's a business partner or whether um, you build relationships at a certain job um, you know certain jobs especially nowadays people are changing careers and they're moving around so many times most of them are short term you know if it's long term eventually you're going to retire so eventually um, you know that is going to end and some of those relationships are going to end because people they continue on while you move into another phase of life but life it can be funny sometimes um, you can take a dip in your finances there, there are just so many different things that can go on and that we as human beings that no matter how much we plan there's always the element of the unexpected you know we cannot plan for everything and we can't foresee everything that is going to go down the line now I'll say this with preparation and proper planning it, it greatly increases our chances that we will be much better prepared when unexpected things happen and I want to leave you guys with, with some food for thought there's a there's a individual that um, was a manager working for a Bureau of Reclamation and he'd been in a Bureau of Reclamation for I believe something like maybe 30 32 to 36 years you know outstanding and what happened is that his father happened to get sick his um, his wife's um, his mother-in-law um, got sick and I believe that his wife also is kind of ill and she was trying to you know take care of them you know all his responsibilities and he finally had to leave um, the Bureau of Reclamation and in his case he's financially prepared he has several businesses so he can keep his bills and everything like that so he's not going to be adversely affected but he had said that you know I had to make a decision to do what was best for my family you know I've given um, the bureau or the federal government you know the best I had he said and the reason why I stayed he said I didn't have to he said but I stayed he said because I love the people and so he and he was outstanding you know he, he gave his best and definitely was sorely missed but he said it was time for him to take care of, take care of his family so he basically took a you know, basically has um punched out and he has moved so he can take care of his 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 father which is his father which is ailing and help his wife out with you know uh, her mother-in-law and also take care of his wife but those are just different things um, that come up in life and um, like I said life can be funny sometimes and you know sometimes we cannot prepare for it but we can put ourselves in the best position to deal with life 
and its ups and downs and its twists and toil and twists and toils. We will all go through it and face it, but um, what's important is how you will deal with it. That's all I have for this video. The name of the video again is Life Can Be Funny Sometimes and how do you deal with it when you are throwing a curveball of different changes? How we deal with it is the most important. Please like the video, unlike the video, um, leave comments, please subscribe to my channel, and if you subscribe, tap the bell for future videos or podcasts, and for those that are already subscribed, please tap the bell. Thank you guys for your time, I greatly appreciate it, and have a great day. Thanks.